What's up guys, Jason's here. Today, let's talk about the brand new firmware, version 30.7 of the S-Series VoIP PBX. On the new updates version, we've made four major improvements. In today's video, I'll be going through them one by one. If you guys want to be kept informed of our updates, please click that subscribe button down below this video so that you will never miss our update videos. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more updates. Alright, let's get started. First, we add a new tool in firewall rules. With previous firmware version, all firewall rules have to be configured manually one by one. While with our new version, we could be able to create multiple firewall rules with a template. Export all existed rules and use the CSV file as a template, which can be edited with Microsoft Excel. All you need to do for the rest is just type in all parameters into this file. Once it has done, just import it directly to the PBX. As we can see here, all the rules have been added to the list. Now, we can just set up our firewall in an easy and efficient way. That was pretty cool, right? Okay, let's move on. In our new version, we can customize our own extension busy prompt and extension on available prompt now which means we can record anything we prefer for the prompt and play that prompt to the cutter when our extension is occupied as well as it's unavailable. By the way, the prompt can be configured according to each individual extension, so every single user would have their own prompt set up and played. Just make sure that the content of the prompt is suitable for the extension user and the people they usually engage with. The record audio file must match the rules shown right here while uploading. The next big improvement is about our 4G LTE module. Now, we have new options in 4G LTE trunk settings, which makes it possible for the PBX to automatically adjust to 3G or 2G network while the 4G network is unavailable. Tips This adjustment will work for voice service only. The mobile data service function works as you are still. Then, last but not the least, starting from this version, we will support Qmetrics on-premise version. Now, if we want to integrate a series PBX with Qmetrics call center kit, we will have Qmetrics on-premise as one more option beside the cloud-based Qmetrics Live. We can install Qmetrics on-premise in our local equipment, which could be a PC or a server. Then, then we just run our own on-site server for the Qmetrics call center system. Yaystar will offer the license for Qmetric on Primus version as well as a middleware installed on your S-Series PBX to realize the integration. If you guys are interested in this, please contact Yaystar Account Manager for more details or apply for a 30-day free trial through sales at yaystar.com directly, which is no payment upfront. Okay, that was all about our new version 30.7 firmware. To try it out, Access to your S-Series PBX web GUI if you're sure PBX poses internet access. Get to the maintenance, upgrade the firmware directly. You can also go visit our website, www.eastar.com, go to the support and download the firmware. Then, you will be able to get an installation package directly. Just have it installed manually. Thank you guys, thank you so much for watching and hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, I will see you in the next one.